Hi everyone, it's Raven and I'm here with my extra special guest. Bimini Bamboolash. Hello, babes. You're watching an extra special edition of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. UK edition. Ow. Today we're gonna to be tuning booty the looks from the main stage, RuPaul's Drag Race UK season three of So this week, the queens had to do an infomercial for Drag Lexa, and then they had to walk the main stage in expenny hanny fashion. Expenny hanny. What's expenny? Expenny. So in the UK, it's slang words. When something's expensive, we go, "Oh, that's a bit spenny." Oh, that's very spenny. Oh, yeah, it was a bit spenny. Oh, that taxi was a bit spenny. We've got to take into consideration. I know. Drag, you can make something look expensive if you know how to style it right. But you can also take something expensive and make it look cheap as hell if you don't style it right. Which is my drag. No, I'm joking. Which is most people's <laughs> drag. <laughs> I'm excited to bring. I'm also understanding that, that it was during the pandemic and it was a difficult time for a lot of people. So let's see how expensive they can make it. Can you feel the love? Category is X Penny Henny. First up. Elevator. I love a black sleek gown. I always think a black sleek gown. I think every queen should have one or two. And uh, I love it with just a little bit of accessorizing. You know, she's got that huge necklace with the matching earrings. And then the bottom of the gown actually matches the necklace as well. Which I think is very clever. And I think that the silhouette looks gorgeous. I think she she's done the shape, looks really what, nice. And the shoulders, I really yeah. like those powerful, accentuated shoulders. I Yeah, give me a padded yeah. shoulder. Any day. Oh, any day, any hell of a day. Hell of a day. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, a black dress. We love a black dress. You yeah. can make it expensive. But when she turned around, I'm here oh, for that. Bitch, it when was... she turned around. It's one of those things where you kind of think, you should have walked into the room backward. <laughs> But then it's great because she didn't, and then she turned around and you were like, oh, there it is. Like, it's beautiful. And that hair, everything about this, the silhouette, the, that cut out in the back, the jewels cascading down the back, the hair, the jewelry. Her body shape looked great anyway, but when she turned around and the way it was all of those jewels, and it just made her silhouette look crazy, gorgeous. I. I'm always here for a bit of nude illusion going on. So I think this is actually my favorite Elle of the Day look that they have done so far on this runway. And for that, I'm gonna give her a big fat toot. Toot. Next up, Scarlet Harlot. All right, we have more shoulder pads. You know, shoulder pads, I think, are one of those things where people associate them with power. They associate them with yeah. money, with status, with uh, so many things. The one thing I don't like is the tiny little cutout above her, the hemline on the top of the pants below the button on the jacket. And I realize it's not a cutout. It's just the pants are too short or the jacket's not buttoned all the way. For me, I love doing a kind of a look like this. And then I, cause I've got a belly button piercing. So I would have like a trashy little belly button piercing. I'd make that more of a moment. I feel like this wasn't meant to be a moment. So that's kind of where you kind of see it gets, it slightly gets missed. I do like that the pant matches. It just doesn't fit right. It's too low in in the, in the rise of the pant. It's baggy in the crotch. But anything that's, you know, in pinstripes, again, it, it kind of makes you think, oh, this bitch has money. Drag queens in white clothing is always like, bravo, bitch, because I know yeah. how hard it is to keep that <laughs> clean with all mm -hmm. of the makeup, hairspray, yeah. adhesive, all of that crap. I wish the pant were a little longer. You want it to cover the heel? I want it to go down a little further or at least hit the top of the opening of the heel. I see that. I get what you mean. If it was just hovering so you didn't, you couldn't really see, you just kind of see the exaggerated flare and you didn't really see any kind of heel, that would look really cool. And it would make the silhouette look even more extreme because when she takes the jacket off, the shoulders are so powerful they're so they're so accentuated that that would be a cool little touch but i do love a red lip i love a red lip and i love when a red lip is like the focal point where there's you know everything else is there but that red lip is like oh my gosh look at that beautiful red lip i really appreciate the fur though and the fact that it's all in that kind of really cool tone and this is the fur that i wish i'd seen on scarlet's 
scary spice in that the last runway, because it looks more expensive as opposed to the fur that was on that one. And I really appreciate the styling with the hair. I think she does look expensive. And I think that powerful red lip was a really good choice to do with this entire outfit. I think because of the severity of the silhouette, I'm going to give it a two. Mm. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to give it a boot. I would have done something different with the bottom. I would have either done like maybe just a panty or maybe a thigh high boot or done a different pant. Like the pant just fits in a way that makes me go, that don't look that spinny handy. Next up, Kitty Scott Claus. I love everything about this from head to toe. I love that hair. I love the way her makeup looks. I love the shoulder pads. I love jet. There's just enough of these coins and chains hanging off of it to where it goes down one side and then off to the other. It's kind of asymmetrical, covered in rhinestones. Yeah, this is beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to disagree with it. I, mean, I don't. <laughs> but I love the hair, um, mm -hmm. but I've seen that body, the bodysuit before. I think the bodysuit. It's an easy option to do. I think, come on, you can go more expensive than this. I, I don't think that this is the best that she could have done in this particular thing. I appreciate the, the details with the coins, but we love a bodysuit. We've seen a bodysuit being done. I think Tace, last season, for when she, Tace has done bodysuits, when she did it with all of the ostrich feathers and the furs, and it made it look super expensive. And you can do kind of the share references. But to me, this doesn't look as, as expenny henny as it could do. I give her a toot. Love you, Raven, but we're gonna have to disagree. <laughs> oh, I love you. We're, we're, we're getting to that point in our relationship where we're starting yeah. to disagree. <laughs> and that's okay. It's not me, it's you. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give her a boot, I'm afraid. Next up, Theresa May. I am getting a bit jeepers creepers with the way that the hat was. I wish the hat was kind of on the side. I think like the hat should have kind of been asymmetric maybe. I think that always adds a bit, a bit of something. I think the hair um, was the wrong choice with this outfit as well, just because there's so much of the fringing and the tassels going on with the long hair coming down, it gets lost in it. I like that there's the red lapel with the red shoe. I think that's cool. I think it could have just been styled a lot more, a lot differently, that could have just elevated it a bit better. And I think the, the shape kind of gets lost in it as well. Yeah, I love the fringe. I, I absolutely love the fringe. I do see what you mean. I wish that the belt were maybe a little thicker and maybe it did that, uh, you know, or a little wider on the sides to kind of cheat more of the shape. And I kind of wish the lapel were bigger. I wish that that buckle on the belt were a little bit more, you know, substantial. And like, look at this belt buckle. I think it could have been taken further with the statement pieces. You're right with the lapel being a bit too small. Having the long hair didn't, didn't really suit the particular look. I, I think it should have been either maybe short or um, pulled back. I wish there were a bigger boot. I wish it were a taller boot. I wish it were a thigh high boot. I wish that the, the jacket were cut a little higher. It just looks like something that was taken and shredded. It wasn't, you know, really tailored or detailed. I wish it would have been cut right up under her coochie. Maybe the, the fringing was just on the arms and something else was on the body to really accentuate the shape of the body and the, the fringing wasn't kind of all the way in throughout the whole garment. I think that could have been a nice way to do it. And then you accentuate it with the red bits, but I think because of the amount of fringing, it kind of, a lot of the, the, the little, the styling choices get lost. So I think for that reason, I'll give it a boot. I agree, it's a boot. We're back on track, me and Bimini are. We're now, we're now, we're now booting together. Hose the boot together, stay together. Mm-hmm. Up next, Crystal Versace. Okay, Crystal looks gorgeous. Again, for me, it's a bodysuit, which is obviously has been stoned to filth, and not a, not a single part of that is missing. So it does look expensive. I like that actually that you can see a bit of the boobies on show. Again, the styling of this and the way it's done kind of does it. It looks it does look expensive. So I I appreciate this take on a bodysuit. See, I don't think that it's stoned. I think it's actual fabric. It's that fabric that is actually, you know, 
made of rhinestones. So I think that that was, you know, a great way to do right. it. And it just be like, wow, I don't know. I kind of wish that it were a full body, like it went all the way down her leg onto the foot. Yeah, into the shoe, like what Balenciaga has been doing right now. Like it's it goes all the way into the shoe. Cause I actually think that shoe is actually totally wrong with that outfit. That shoe looks great with the hair, but then the, the bodysuit in the middle and the body looks great. I love that you can see her nipples. I love that uh -huh. you can see her body under it. I love that it's all like, you know, it looks great, but there's just something about it that I wish the neck on it went all the way up under her chin. Like yeah. there's just something about it. I feel like, you know, like you said, like, oh, it's a bodysuit. It's a rhinestone bodysuit. Yeah, it's a rhinestone bodysuit. And it, like, obviously it sparkles and it glistens and it looks like it would be great for performance. And if you were on stage and you were doing a number in this, it would look great. I love long hair, I love inches, and she's got the human unit on. I think her face looks stunning, obviously. And I do like that you can see the, the body, but I don't like the shoe with it. Um, the, the shoe is really throwing me off. <laughs> it, it looks weird because it just stops right at her ankle. And then... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's hard. It's hard because she does it great, but I do also think, again, it is a bodysuit. Is that the most expensive way to look in drag? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a boot. I'm gonna give it a boot as well. She looks beautiful. Duh. Duh. Her face is gorgeous. Next up, River Medway. She looks beautiful. She's radiating. You know, there's never a time that River walks the runway where she's not like radiating, selling it. Even when Absolutely. she's dressed as Ginger Spice, that is like mm -hmm. no spice you want to use at all. Or when she's wearing something that's supposed to represent music and it did not. There's yeah. just those, there's those times where it's a little off. This time though, she looks absolutely stunning from head to toe. I love that she's referencing her heritage. I think she looks ex expensive she looks like a little doll like she looks incredible and yeah like you said she's glowing like it's, it's radiating from her the silhouette is really cool the way when it moves and there's there's so much fabric that she's really playing with and utilizing and then she's got that gorgeous headpiece with the necklace she puts her arms out and there's that you know the sleeves within that beautiful shape and then the skirt you can tell this is something that when she's wearing it she feel again she always does it but there's a special little glimmer in her eye where she was like oh i get to wear this one this is the one i really i had this and i wanted to wear this one this is a two i'm gonna give it a big old two up next charity case this tooth fairy when she puts the money under there, she goes and steals the jewels from your family and then makes more money to give to the next child. And I, I really like um, utilizing old broken bits of jewelry and, and putting that together. I think it's really clever and it's a really great way of upcycling. And again, what I love about charity is bringing reference, references that you wouldn't even think of. It's conceptual. It's conceptual. She's she's making it her own style, and I think that's that's applaudable. I love that she stays true to herself, and this is her version of ex Benny Henny, and she's head to toe, well, head to crotch in jaw, <laughs> <laughs> head to crotch, and then like the the bottom of her foot to the floor in jewel. Yeah. yeah. This looks like she probably had a bucket full of jewels and just said, okay, now I'm going to cover this, this bustier, this bodice, this corset, and the headpiece, and then the gloves, and then the boots, and then the wings. Yeah, yeah, I love it. It's a freaky fantasy, and I'm here for that. I, I, I love, I'd love just like an hour. I think I couldn't survive more than an hour, but I'd love an hour inside Charity's mind just to see what the hell is going on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that it would be a freak show for sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'm going to give it a two. I agree, two. All right, next up, Vanity Milan. She served the children what they deserve. She looks gorgeous from head to toe. It is a bodysuit. And we were talking earlier about bodysuits. We talked about Kitty Scott Claus. We also talked about... Uh, Crystal, and um, from the top to the bottom, I love this, the choice of hair with this. Her makeup looks beautiful. I love that small hair clip in there. I love where the jewels are placed. I love when she puts her arms out, the way everything is, the beads are just dripping off of her. She looks stunning. 
I think the hair color on her right now, it looks stunning. She looks absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, we did speak about the bodysuit, but this is giving you the nude illusion bodysuit. Yeah. So she just looks like she's completely naked and covered in crystals and jewels and it's glistening the way it drips on her. And she, you can feel it in her face. She just exudes the confidence. She walked down the main stage and she served. She said yeah. she was serving and she served. Yeah, she's Toot. gorgeous. Toot vanity, baby. Trend, Trend alert. Body suits. Body suits. That's it, body suits. Suits on your body. Clingy, tight shoots that hang on your body. Cling to your body. body. Show body, off your body. Body, 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 body suits. You like to show off your body. Our, Our top, top two of the week, week is, is Vanity Milan, darling. You served, you served the children well. You served the children what they needed. And you were dripping, Vanity Milan. Make sure to catch all new episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race UK season three on BBC Three Thursdays. And you can catch it on Crave in Canada and everywhere else in the world on Wow Presents Plus everywhere in the world. So Bimini, what do you like to spend your money on? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> All right, bye bitch, see you next week. Love ya, see you next week. Ow.